experienced in these situations, they're really the most vulnerable victim who really can't fight back. Advertising child pornography is probably one of the more serious offenses. Mandatory minimum is 15 years. You can't be sentenced less than 15 years. We don't have a legal um, system that insists that a first-time offender cannot be punished. We also, we, are, we have also outside of the U.S. Are there any specific features of Son's crime? Is this considered more serious than any other child pornography crimes? I think that um, one of the charges that he's charged with is advertising of child pornography. And wow. so um, advertising child pornography is probably one of the more serious offenses as it relates to child pornography offenses. This person who is setting up a marketplace that is dealing exclusively with um, promoting this abuse um, on videos. And by doing that, he is perpetuating the cycle um, against the most vulnerable members of our society. So toddlers, babies, um, children. And he is continuing the cycle of individuals possessing, distributing, and also producing these horrific videos. Yeah, so advertising of child pornography, um, because it's one of the more serious child pornography offenses, carries a mandatory minimum of 15 years incarceration. Uh -huh. um, some of the other offenses that I know he's charged with, like distribution of child pornography, would be five years mandatory uh -huh. minimum. Uh -huh. Lindsay said is the bottom, but that doesn't mean that that's the maximum of what he could be sentenced to. Generally speaking, we don't have a legal um, system that insists that a first-time offender cannot be punished. strict punishment is effective in preventing those crimes? Also obviously with the penalties that are associated with child pornography offenses, mm -hmm. including the mandatory minimums, it can act as a deterrent to mm -hmm. those offenders who might not otherwise engage in this behavior knowing that they would be facing mandatory minimum time of five years, 15 years, you know, 25 years. Uh, and nor is an escape to be uh, in other countries as there are people prosecuted all across the world. HSI has been on the leading edge of investigating cybercrimes for more than two decades.